On this video, we are going to show you how to assign properties, specifications, supports, and loading to a project in STAD Pro Connect Edition. Let's go ahead and start with the Properties tab in the Workflow Page Control area. Now these four tabs that we're going to see here basically replace the General tab and its sub-tabs from STAD Pro V8i. Now this step in the workflow for assigning your properties all the way through loadings should be fairly familiar to you if you're already using STAD Pro V8i and the transition to STAD Pro Connect Edition should be fairly simple. Now as you'll notice as you select the different tabs in the workflow page control area your appropriate dialogues are going to appear in the data area. Now these dialogues will look exactly the same as they had in STAD Pro V8i and they work in exactly the same way. For example, in the properties dialog, I still have access to my sections database. I can still define parametric members and I can still assign thicknesses to my plate type elements. Now, if I'm comfortable with using the dialogs in the data area, I can continue my workflow the exact same way as I had in STAD Pro V8i. In addition to that, as you get more comfortable with STAD Pro Connect Edition, you may want to think about migrating up to the Specification tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. As you'll notice that the icons within the Specification tab in the Ribbon Toolbar basically represent the same type of functions that you can find within these dialogs in the data area. For example, I have access to my databases. I can still create a prismatic member here and I can still assign a plate thickness. So either workflow, both will achieve the same exact thing. Let's go ahead and start working with the ribbon in the specification tab to see how similar they are. Here I'm gonna select the database icon and all of our databases are still organized by region for which they're applicable. I'm gonna select the American database and you can see here they're still organized by different shape. And I can select the different shapes I want for my model. Say, for example, I want to grab um, a 16 by 36. And let's go ahead and also grab a tube section. Here, I'll grab an 8 by 8 by 3 eighths. I still have my material pulled down. I'm going to select steel for both of those. Now, once you add properties to the properties dialog, either by using the ribbon controls or by using the different buttons available in the dialog, the rest of your workflow picks up the exact same way where you're going to need to then assign these properties to the particular members in your model by using the assignment methods, which work the same exact way as I had in STAD Pro V8i. So say, for example, I want to assign this property to all of my beams and girders, for example. I'm going to select the property and then I'm going to select the members I want to assign it to. Uh, I can go over to the Select tab at any time and I can either use my cursors to select the members or I can also use some of these tools. So say I want to select all my members parallel to my X. I want to select all my members parallel to my Z. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign this to the selected members. Let's go ahead and assign our tube to basically everything else in our model. Well, let's stay on our select tab in our ribbon toolbar. What I want to do is I want to maybe select all the members that don't currently already have a property assigned to them. Well, I have this attributes area where I can select by certain different types of attributes. I can still create groups. I can select by property name, or I can select all the members that are missing a property. So say, for example, I want to select all members that are missing a property. It will automatically select those for me, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Assign. Now, if I wanted to interrogate my model to see if anything is missing a property, I can say Select by Missing Property, and it will let me know I don't have anything with a missing property. I can also select by property name if I wanted to take a look and see what else I have assigned to my model. Let's go ahead and return to the specification tab in the ribbon 
And through this tab, I can also set up a prismatic beam property. You can see here all the different options available. If I went to this define button, same exact thing. I can also create user tables and assign a plate thickness. In addition to that, if I want to assign some beta angles, I'm going to select the beta angle tab. Again, I can create my beta angle directly through the properties dialog, or if I wanted to navigate up to the ribbon, I can go to beam and go to the beta angle option. Same exact dialog will appear. Let's go ahead and move on, and we're going to select the specifications tab now. Again, I still have my main different types of specifications available in STAD Pro Connect Edition, and they are organized by either nodal specifications, our beam specifications, and also our plate specifications. Now, these buttons work the same exact way they had in STAD Pro V8i, and if I wanted to navigate up to the ribbon, I'm going to find those specifications organized in the same types of groups. Uh, what this will do for me up in the ribbon is it will automatically select the type of specification I want. Brings up the same exact dialog, but it'll be already organized on the tab you want. Like say for example, I want to specify some releases for my members. It's going to bring up the specification dialog, the member specification dialog, and it's automatically going to be set to releases. Same exact information that I'm going to find down here except here I might need to select the different tabs that I want. Let's go ahead and move on to the supports area. Here I can just create a support the same way I had traditionally done it in previous versions of STAD Pro, or I can come up to the supports area within the specification dialog, the specification tab in my ribbon toolbar. So say for example I want to add a fixed support, we can go ahead and just add it very quickly that way. We also have access to our pin supports, custom supports, and also foundation springs. Let's move to the next area, which is our loading area. Now the load and definition dialog works the same exact way as it had in STAD Pro V8i. I still have my definitions area, my load case details, and my load envelopes. To create a new load case, I could just highlight my load case and click my add load and then proceed as I normally am used to. If I wanted to navigate up to my ribbon toolbar, I can also create a primary load case through the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar. To create a new load item, I could go to my load and definition dialog, highlight the primary load case, click the add button, and identify my load item I want to add. And then use my assignment methods. If I wanted to navigate up to my ribbon toolbar, I could start the same exact way. I'm going to highlight my load case, and I'm going to select my load items icon. Let's go ahead and move a step further and let's take a look at our loading definitions and also our load combinations. So let's return to the loading tab in the page control area. And say for example, I want to create a load definition. Well, I can highlight the load definition and click on the add button, just as I'm used to doing in STAD Pro V8i. Or I can navigate up to the ribbon. So here I can select seismic and then select the code I'm looking for. Now if I'm ready to generate some load combinations, I can just highlight my load case detail section, click the add button, and find my automatic load combinations. I can also instead just come up to my ribbon and select automatic load combinations.
Now at times I may want to view the load combinations that a particular generator is going to want to create for me. So I'm going to go up to the loading tab in my ribbon toolbar, select my auto combinations area, and I could just simply click edit auto combination rules. And this will give me a preview of all the different load combination generators that were installed with STAD Pro Connect Edition. And this is a great place to go to identify which uh, combination is going to be applicable to your particular model. Like say for example, I wanted to go to the IBC. Well, I might have particular load combination tables that are LRFD format. I might have different load combination tables that are more in an ASD format. And this will give me a great place to go to see what load combinations will be generated so that I can identify which load combinations I want before I actually commit them to my model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.